Hi guys, welcome back to Sage and Spice Farms. I know it's been a few months. I have recorded a few videos since then, but editing always got in the way. I just never had time to edit them for you. And I had this whole issue with like the timeline and showing you guys everything that we've done, but not having it not make sense. And you know what? We're just gonna skip all the things that have happened in the last three months and we're doing our first garden tour. So welcome to the first garden tour. There's a lot of things to show you. We have still probably not even planted half of the space that we have and half of it still needs to be fenced in, but let's get to it anyway. This is the first half of the garden front yard. We have a guest here, sorry about the car. Um, I'm gonna go in and show you guys everything. I just planted some stuff over there yesterday, but we've got cucumbers on this trellis. There was supposed to be a trellis there for the squash. We did not get it up in time. We've got melons on that trellis and more melons and cucumber melons on the other trellis. And then I have a few more trellises to still put up. I have, that's three that are up. So I have three more to put up. So let's go take our first tour. All right, this is the entrance to the garden. I know we have a little king snake in here somewhere, so I'm gonna try not to bother him. So right here at the entrance are my squashes on both sides. Again, this was supposed to be a trellis um, so there should have been stuff planted in the middle, but it didn't work out. So we've got the squashes on both sides and it's kind of just a slightly empty in the middle. Um, but very crowded with the squashes. They're coming out of the gate. They don't have a lot of space. So the first three on either side are golden egg squash. I'll insert a picture here for you. Those are some of the ones that we harvested and they were awesome. Um, the next three on each side are zucchini. So here, I'll show you these golden egg squashes here. And then our zucchinis here. Oh, and there's another golden egg hiding under there. We've got a couple zucchinis. And then over here, the last three on each side are my yellow saffron squashes. So let me see if I can peel this back and show you. There we go. See, that's the yellow saffron squash another little baby one next to it so all of these already have vine borers but they are still producing i did pull one i think the flooding recently didn't help um but they're still producing they're still getting bigger so i'm just gonna leave them for now behind the squashes i have my row of tomatoes right here so this is a black pearl tomato it's got a little tiny baby on it something ate part of the tomato stem and these guys need to be weeded around but they are doing very good. This snake likes to hang out by my tomatoes, so I'm gonna be very careful over here. This is a sun gold tomato plant. It's got the top row, another little row here, and a third row of really nice looking tomatoes that should start changing color very soon. Um, next to it, we've got another black pearl tomato right here. He's got a couple tomato fruits on him as well. And then another sun gold right there, and he's got four rows. One, two, three, with a fourth one starting on top. Next to him, we have, I'll go over there and show you, but we've got a Brandywine Pink and a Super Sweet 100. And then on this trellis, we've got um, straight eight cucumbers. I'll insert the picture of the one we found yesterday. And I also just planted some muncher cucumbers on that trellis yesterday. Here is one of the Armenian cucumbers. Hello, little grasshopper. Hi, buddy. And here is one of the little baby straight eights. And then in here yesterday, in the middle of this trellis that I'm showing you guys, next to all the squashes, I planted two more zucchinis. I planted more Armenian cucumbers there. I planted two butternut squashes and uh, three yellow crookneck summer squashes. I did a whole row of, or like a half row of lemon cucumbers and the rest of the row with, no, yes, more Armenians. That's right, I did lemon cucumbers, Armenian cucumbers, and then I did one saffron squash at the end. And then up there I did um, a whole row of eggplants because the trellis is gonna be wider on this one. We should have done them wider on the others, but everything was already planted. We've got some wildflowers there. 
Oh, let me come show you these tomato plants. Here's the Super Sweet 100. I had a Super Sweet 100 that was younger than all of these. I had started it in my arrow garden inside the house. At three weeks old, I moved it outside. It lived for about four weeks outside. It was my biggest tomato plant. It flowered the earliest. It didn't have as many tomatoes as the sun golds, but it was really big. It was the biggest and the youngest. And it all of a sudden wilted and died the other day. It's still somewhat alive. I gave it some coffee and um, uh, heartburn calcium chews diluted and it hasn't helped it yet so we'll see um but this one hiding in right here is the brandy wine pink and then that's that sun gold that i showed you guys the second sun gold more wildflowers don't mind my tool in the garden oh here we found a um volunteer slash wild tomatillo plant i don't think we have a second one anywhere nearby so i don't think it's gonna get pollinated but I'm pretty sure this is a tomatilla plant if you think it's something else let me know we did not plant it but we're very happy about it um so this is that view of everything that I just showed you guys so up here we don't really have anything planted yet it's mostly just empty up here other than this volunteer tomatillo don't mind my strange twisting <laughs> Um, this is gonna, this trellis right here is gonna get moved, so it supports the tomatoes better. Do, do, do. We've got this beautiful okra plant. I don't know if you guys have ever seen okra flowers, but they are stunning. And if you haven't, I highly recommend that you take the time to look them up. This plant is super pretty. It's still kind of a baby. But when this one right here opens, because this is actual okra right here, this is a flower that hasn't opened yet. And when it does, it'll then turn into the fuzzy okra. The flower blooms are so, so, so pretty. This plant is just getting bigger and bigger. So pretty. That's another little okra plant. Not doing quite as good. We had an unknown variety tomato over there, but he accidentally chopped it down yesterday when he was weeding here with his little weeding tool. Um, everything over there has pretty much died off. It's too hot for it. I I originally had these collard greens right here, which had died. Um, next to those I had Swiss chard, which never really made it. And then I believe it was carrots, spinach, and turnips. And nothing did super great because it was just way too hot. So, and ultimately the weeds ended up taking over because I didn't keep up with it because they were just not doing good anyway. So that's really all that's over in this whole top part of the garden is just the sacrificed collard greens. The bugs get those now. The killed off tomato and the two okras. And that's it. These were radishes. We pulled all those. Um, so there's nothing really over here. And then on these trellises are uh, more cucumbers, actually. This one is um, lemon cucumbers and probably more straight eights, I think. Here, let me come in here and show you guys. We've got, there's the really nice lemon one. Here, we go. there's a lemon cucumber that is probably ready, actually. And another, there he is, that straight eight under there. You see that? He is almost ready to be picked. Looking good. So that is this whole trellis. And then this trellis over here, let me show you this a little closer. We've got some cucumelons. I haven't tried any yet. He got, I let him try the first one. But we've got one right here that's almost ready. Another one right there that's almost ready. And the vines are going pretty tall. There's just two of them. This is not cucumelon vine. This one is this little tiny guy that's kind of split off into two. Actually, there might be... No, that's two. Yeah, there's only two cucumelon vines here. And we've got a third little one that's almost ready. That one actually might be about ready. So they're looking really good. They're probably, well, not quite the tallest anymore. Um, So that's these, this whole side of the trellis. Let's talk about that side. So right there we've got, I believe, watermelons w-h-a-t um those are really neat i have some over there on the other side that i'm gonna show you guys in a minute what they look like 
Then right here, I believe this is my mango hybrid melon, possibly. Um, over there we've got sugar bush. I'm gonna step closer so you guys can see the melons in just a second. And then we've got red and golds. Let me show you these red and golds. They're so cool. And we did have green beans here, but obviously it's too hot. We're gonna take those down. And there were uh, five really, really, really nice broccoli heads right there. But the cabbage worms got them. Unfortunately, the day I went to harvest them, that was super sad. They were just full of them. Hey, it looks like one of my sunflowers finally grew. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's hidden in there. Hello, buddy. Wow, that is awesome. All right, I wanna try and show you guys this melon because it's truly gold on the outside and it will be red on the inside when we cut it open. But it still has a lot of growing to do and it hasn't been getting very big, but look at that. So pretty. And here is that sugar bush baby. Look at that, looking so good. Just for reference, kind of small, but still doing good. All right, here's one of the red and golds. So it's gonna start turning gold very soon. This guy needs some support. I found another sunflower right there. It's the same kind as that one. You can see all my overgrown radishes right there. This guy's got a ton of seed pods and flowers on him. So yeah, gonna have a lot of radishes next year. <laughs> all right, that was all of that garden bed. So now we can move on to the next one. Just trying to give you guys another view of this thing. This side is even less planted. We've got the velvet weed up here. Um, whew, the rain really made some of this take off. We need the weeds so bad. So we've got a tomato plant right here. This should be a black cherry. I need to put a cage around him soon. He does not have any flowers yet. We've got some green beans here. This is probably an unknown variety of tomato. He's got a little baby flower. There we go. Um, try not to step on any snakes out here. This is an American purple, I believe Cherokee. So this one I'm super, super excited for. It's got some flowers for sure. More green beans. This is another unknown variety, I believe, with a little baby. So exciting. Looking good, little dude. Here we've got, um, sorry guys, let me try to get you a better view. I think this one's an unknown variety as well. Some of these were given to me as unknown varieties. He is, definitely needs some support, but I'm getting to it guys. They're growing, that's all that matters. All right, over here, these guys do have support. They're not doing the best, but they're doing okay. This guy's struggling. This is another black cherry. He's not very happy looking, but he does have some flowers. So I'll go through and maybe prune him some more and hopefully that'll be okay. This guy is looking good. This is an Osaka. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's O-A-X-A-C-A, -A -A, I believe. And he's doing pretty good. Not as wilty as this other guy next to him. Um, another little green bean here, and another, I believe this is another Osaka. I should have two of those. Some of them aren't doing as good as the other. Look at those green beans. And then another unknown variety right here that I just planted to save. All right, now onto the melons. Look at these melons, guys. Here's a sugar bush, even bigger than the other one. Super exciting. Here's another sugar bush. Same vine. Here's another, ah, there's a spider web in my face. Here's another red and gold. So it's gonna be red on the inside, remember? So pretty. Um, The one I'm really excited to show you guys, I don't know if I have any, oh, I do have mango melon here. Let me show you this mango melon. Gotta watch out for my tomato. See right here? This is gonna be a mango hybrid melon. This is kind of growing out of the pot onto the weeds over here because it doesn't have a trellis, but I'm so excited about this one. Okay. And then look at this. This 
is called a watermelon. W-H-A-T. It is not done yet. It should get like yellow with spots. There's some more growing. Kind of, ah, it's in my hair. Kind of all over the vine. I don't really know where they all are right now, so it's hard to show you guys. Some of them might not make it. But this guy, I am so excited to try him. Oh my goodness, I think he's going to be awesome. I can't wait. And these are lamb's quarters. If you guys have never had lamb's quarters or heard of lamb's quarters, I encourage you to look it up. They are full of omega-3s, omega-6s, protein, iron, calcium, potassium, vitamin A, C, D, K. It's maybe not D, but there's a ton of stuff in these lamb's quarters. They are super, super beneficial for you. They are like a true superfood. So, oh, this was um, an onion bed. None of the onions sprouted, unfortunately. Over there, we're gonna be planting uh, more squashes and zucchinis and such, probably tomorrow. Tonight, I'm gonna be planting more melons. And then up here, we have our peppers. So let's go down the pepper line. We'll start over here. We're not planted all the way down there yet. I think I have some random sunflowers that I planted in here too, and hopefully they take off as well. This, uh-oh. Oh, here it is, here's its tag. Chili pepper. This is a chili pepper plant. I know my car doesn't get really a good view, huh? There we go. This is another chili pepper plant. They were supposed to be separated with one thing in between them, but, uh, and I definitely thought they were gonna get bigger than this and like actually hold hands because pepper plants like to do that, but it didn't go quite as I expected. The guy I bought them from topped them off. I did not start these ones from seeds. Everything in this garden, tomato and pepper-wise, I didn't start from seed. The melons I did and everything in the other garden, I started from seed. Um, but, yeah, they're not getting as big as I thought. However, they have tons of flowers all over and little peppers forming. So, you know what? I'm okay with it. But there was supposed to be another red bell pepper here in between the two and it snapped when i went to flip it into the spot so two chilies ended up next to each other this should be what is this oh it's a red bell pepper we've got our first little bell pepper starting to grow that means he is not doing great this is a serrano no flowers yet the guy called this one a morticia, but I looked it up and that's really just a jalapeno. And it's got a couple flowers on it. So, that's good. Couple more over there. This one, another morticia. Oh wait, morticia? No, that's a yellow bell pepper, sorry. The dirt on it confused me. This one actually has more than one flower. There's actually a couple, thank God. Yay, we have bell peppers growing. Okay, what's this one? Another red bell pepper. Some little flowers in there. Then we've got, oh no, that one looks almost broken. Another chili pepper, look at this. He's got three plus some flowers and a little fourth one over here. Looking super good. Two more guys, we got, what's this one? Serrano. Still no flowers. And this one did have the first pepper and then now it's not doing great. I need to weed around it again. This rain is really knocking us back with all these weeds. This is another Morticia. That is this entire side of the garden. Hey, that looks like it might be another tomatillo plant maybe, possibly. I don't know guys, I need your advice on this. We have a ton of weeding to do, a ton more planting to do. We still need to get the fence and the rest of the trellising up. But this is that other half of the garden that I just showed you. Now let's go to the back deck. Our lamb's quarters just grows like wild here. We pull it out and it's just still all over the place. So I highly encourage you to just not kill your weeds because most of them are edible. This right here, all over by my feet, these are plantain leaves, super edible. And you can see there's actually lamb's quarters mixed in with them. Hi, Bullet. Come on, bud. 
We also have little flowers that grow wild in the yard and all the clover. All right, this is the deck. So my tomato that I was telling you guys about, it's not doing well at all. This is him. He was the strongest, the best, and then he just failed. He's not doing good, but he's still got some tomatoes on him. He's a super sweet 100, so I'm just going to leave him be. I hope it's not blight, but he's pretty far away from everybody else except this one black pearl tomato. And this guy's doing okay. This guy lived on the deck in a cup for some months. And then putting him in this, he really got much taller. I definitely pruned him the other day, so he looks thinner than he is. These guys, who I did not expect to take over this trellis at all, had no intention of them sharing with the tomato. Um, they are sweet potatoes. <laughs> and they are definitely taking over. They're very happy. There's nothing planted in that. This is our composter. As you guys may have seen in the previous video, here's our other sweet potatoes. They are doing so good, guys. I just put these in the ground probably like two weeks ago, maybe three. But wow, they look fantastic look at that and nothing planted in these i was going to put flowers in these but it looks like the sweet potatoes might take them over let's go to the top deck so it is an absolute hot mess up here right now much like the rest of the garden but just trying to be 100 percent honest with you guys on what things look like at the worst and best of times we are getting to it but we got a lot going on for sure trying to get all this work done and we had some unexpected things happen with our family, so it's been a lot, and these got blown over by the wind. We haven't been watering them. It's been way too hot. The rain was taking care of it, and now it's not, so we need to come up here and water very soon, but this is the strawberry bed. We do have strawberries growing in here. We did weed just the other day. It needs to be done again. I thought this was spinach that I let bolt. I don't think it is anymore. Also, pretty sure these are maybe tomatillo plants. Not a clue what this is, so there's that. But look at our first strawberries. I should have picked them and probably not let them grow this year. We've got another one in here, one right here, and the fourth one in there. This is the first year of these strawberries. So I'm surprised they're producing it all, especially with all the weeds. There's a lot of them in here, but this is the only one I found with flowers so far, so. We shall see. Hopefully the other ones just wait to produce till next year. It's probably for the best anyway. But yeah, we need to weed very badly. We're going to plant melons in these potato bags today because they've all been har harvested. Excuse me. Whew. So it's time to come out here and plant melons in each bag. We have 12. Probably going to put holes in that and put melons in that too. Um, these are like cauliflowers and things that I had started back in like February and I didn't realize it was just going to be entirely too hot to grow those. Some of them are making it oddly enough with like no help. Um, and then these are tomatoes that I've fully neglected and don't know what kind they are anymore. This is a Cosmo. These are peppers. I can't believe some of these are still alive. Look at this. These have just been out here for months and months and I have not watered in a very long time. So the rain is keeping them alive. So everything that's empty right now, these, I know we have a dirt pile here, it's spilt and we need to clean it up. This was how we were sifting and looking for our potatoes. We were pulling it out of here by hand into here to look for all the potatoes and then scooping it back. So some of them still need to be refilled and put back in their place. I promise it normally looks much better than this. And the next garden tour should all be put back together and look much nicer with the melons planted and probably even have sprouts as long as they take off. It's very hot here. It's about 100 degrees. Sorry I'm talking so fast, guys. I'm just trying to get going. Um, so melons going in these, they'll all be pushed back and nicer. These are probably going to get cleaned up because they're pretty well dead. My celosia needs to be planted. That's what that is. It's like a fuzzy flower. Under here, we have Swiss chard. For, for a second, I thought it bolted because these seeds, but that is like wheat or something that's growing over here. But I have Swiss chard that I just harvested recently, so we've got a couple leaves on each one left, some rainbow and some regular. The kale that has now been sacrificed to the worms, unfortunately, as well as many other things. Because over here, oh wait, that wasn't kale, that was, um, that one was collard grains, this one is kale. And then this over here is carrots, and I don't think they're going to make it. I clipped some of the tops off, and 
They've been in the ground a long time. I shouldn't pull it when it's that dry. It's not going to come out at all. Anyway, guys. Anyway, guys, that is the update on the garden. Doesn't feel like we've done a ton just because there's still so much left to get done. And that part is more prevalent in our minds, I guess. But when I show you guys everything compared to where we last were, which was pretty much tilling the garden and the soil washing away, I'm very happy because we planted a lot. There's still a ton to plant, but we have a lot of melons that are doing really good and strawberries and um, tomatoes and peppers and things. So I'm very happy with all of that. There's so much to do, but we're getting there. Planted a ton yesterday. I'm gonna plant all the more melons today. Tomorrow we're planting a bunch more squash and we're just gonna try to keep doing that every day until we get it finished because soon it's time for the fall garden and then the spring garden once again. So very exciting. I'm so excited about these varieties. I can't wait to share some of these with you. The mango melon, the watermelon, W-H-A-T, um, the red and gold. We've got a bodacious honeydew. Um, next year we're gonna be adding in some other really fun varieties, maybe even this fall. And we might try to get them in the ground in the next week if we can get them ordered in time. So we'll see, but Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you where we're at and just share some of the progress with you because going from tilling and the soil washing away to this makes me very happy for sure. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tour. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of those fun varieties. I will definitely do another tour for you guys very soon once we have any progress going on and... Oh, I did want to make a note. We did not actually end up adding anything to the soil after the top soil washed off. The soil just turned out being really good. When I reach in there and I put my hands in there, if it's really dry, that's different. But on a day where there's any kind of moisture in there, it just crumbles in my hand. It's really great quality dirt, even after that top soil washed off. So we're very thankful for that. Everything that we direct sowed has been doing really, really good and i'm pretty thrilled for what's to come next guys so i will keep you up to date thank you for tagging along and i can't wait to share all the future fun with you sorry i'm looking at the garden because it's so beautiful instead of looking at you guys awesome well have a good day guys bye